A long time ago in Babylon lived a godly man named Daniel. He was an honorable man who always praised the Lord. He was also an important advisor to King Darius, and he found favor in the king's eyes. Hello, King Darius. Hello, Daniel. You are very good at your job. There were other advisors to the king as well. However, they did not like Daniel. They were jealous of Daniel. They came up with a plan to deceive the king and to get Daniel in trouble. King Darius, live forever. We all agree that the king should issue a new law. A law where no one can worship any gods or anyone but you for the next 30 days. And if they do, then they must get thrown into the den with the hungry lions. Oh, okay. Sure. I will sign that into law. The other advisors went out and spread the word. Daniel went home that night and continued to do what was right. He fell to his knees and prayed to the Lord three times a day. However, the advisors saw what he was doing. The advisors went to address King Darius. King Darius, you made this new law and Daniel is not listening to it. The king was very distressed and wanted to rescue Daniel. King! You know that the new law you put in order cannot be changed? I order you to go get Daniel and put him in the lion's den. Happily, the advisors went to go get Daniel. There was a knock on Daniel's door. Oh, Lord. Give me courage. Daniel goes to answer the door. We saw you were worshiping the Lord. Now you'll be thrown into the lion's den for breaking the law. So Daniel is taken to the lion's den. and saw all the big, scary lions. And the advisors threw Daniel into the den. The king comes to see Daniel. May your God, whom you serve continually, rescue you. Then they placed a stone over the den. The king went back to his palace distressed. He could not eat or sleep all night. There Daniel was in a dark den with many wild lions, but he was not alone. God sent him an angel and he shut the mouths of all the lions to keep Daniel safe. Daniel, you are found innocent in the Lord's eyes. You have done nothing wrong before King Darius either. The Lord has rescued you. Daniel was overjoyed. In the morning, the king rushed to the lion's den to see if Daniel was still alive. Daniel, did your Lord rescue you from the lions? Yes! May the king live forever. My God sent an angel and he shut the mouths of the lions. The lions did not hurt me. Oh, I am very pleased. Now get Daniel out of the den. 
everyone saw that there was not a single wound on him because he had full trust in his God. The new law is that everyone in my kingdom will worship and fear Daniel's God. For he is the living God, and he endures forever. His kingdom will not be destroyed. His dominion will never end. He rescues and he saves. He performs signs and wonders in the heavens and on earth. He has rescued Daniel from the powers of the lions. Daniel continued to worship the Lord and lived a wonderful life throughout King Darius's reign. The biblical story of Daniel in the lion's den can be found in Daniel chapter 6.